First thing we're going to need is Pwnage Tool 3.1.3. I will include a link to that in my description. So, first thing we do is we download, unpack it. This is what we got. So we're going to make sure our iPod is hooked up here, like so. We're going to click iPod 2G. And we're going to come to this screen. And it is going to search for firmware. Now you should have the 3.1 firmware downloaded from Apple already. If yours for some reason does not find it, go to expert mode, click browse, and you will find it in your username, library, iTunes, iPod updates. But we were lucky enough mine found it. Anyways, click next. My G5 is pissed. If we click next again, well, you select the firmware first. Blah, blah, blah. We will make your custom firmware and put it on the desktop. Do you wish to continue? Click yes. Now, I already did this. This takes about 25 minutes, so I just walked away, and we already got it. So pretty much when you click yes, it's going to compile it, take forever, and you're going to have an IPSW on your desktop like so and in a moment I will show you how to upload it to your iPod alright now I'm gonna re jailbreak my iPod just for the sake of demonstration so you could have either gotten your firmware through Pwnage tool or if you're a Windows user unfortunately and can't use this you can download it from my mega upload link but now we gotta get the software under the iPod so what we do is simply bring up iTunes when all is said and done if you can see mine says my software is up to date when we click on the restore button we're gonna hold down the alt key uh, I can't tell you what it is on Mac because I broke my keyboard we're gonna press the alt key and click restore click and hold press and hold the alt key click restore we get a browse box come over to the browse box go to our desktop if we used Pwnage tool uh, if not if you downloaded it from me wherever you saved it this works on Windows as well I guess the uh, alt key is also the Apple key can't remember but we click open and iTunes starts to upload our custom firmware and if we look over here at the iPod oh, nothing's happening it's extracting our software preparing iPod to restore, this is what your iPod is going to do well, that was from the previous jailbreak, but if you look, oh, there's our little pineapple. Well, now we can see iTunes is uploading our custom firmware. This, uh, this will take about five or ten minutes, but there is no DFU mode needed. So for all of you who can't follow simple directions of holding down one or two buttons for between 10 and 30 seconds, well, it's amazing that you live this far in life, but uh, yeah, here you go. Okay, we have finished restoring, and we have the... Your iPod is rebooting, and it is rebooting with the pineapple. Uh, you saw it before, that was... Uh, because I had already jailbroken it, but right now it is simply rebooting. I do not know if that is the default boot. I mean, after all, this process is only a couple hours old, so I haven't had time to play with it thoroughly. Let's see here. And. Blah, blah, 
blah. Can't read. Settings. General. About. Well, if we uh, look at the version here, 3.1. And we scroll over and look, Cydia and Icy. And well, you know where to go from here, YouTube.